Unless I've got to take a diving catch, that's a different story. Interesting. Let's go up to the stumps and apply one or two of those thoughts to, uh, to slow bowling. Um, some keepers scratch a line, don't they, behind off stump as a marker. Can yeah. you do that? No, I've never done that. Um, and I think it can lead to problems. Some keepers like to do it, that's fair enough. And if the batsman stays in a normal position, then that's fine. But the most, some of the most important things about standing up are you've got to have vision. You've got to be able to see the ball. And some batsmen, if we can bring our batsman friend in. Another stand member of the me. Knotts Academy. Slightly nervous. Okay, just take stance. That's fine. If, if that batsman stays there and I put my left foot on, that, on the off stunt, that's okay. I can see everything I need to see. If he starts moving around and starts playing, especially in one day cricket where batsmen are doing funny things and moving all over the place, you're going to stand it and the batsman's going to obscure your view. So if he moves around, I'm quite keen to move around as well. Right, um, so you're saying, are you saying that if he moved across to off stump, say, in his yeah, guard, just yeah. take an off stump guard, you would then move I wider here? a little here. bit more. Right. Definitely. What about the idea of a batsman coming to stand outside leg stump to take bowlers who are bowling into the rough outside the leg stump? Where would you then stand? Because I've seen some go and stand over there. Absolutely. That's a difficult, it's a difficult thing. It all depends where you've got to work out with your bowler whereabouts he wants to bowl the ball. Is he going to bowl predominantly on the stumps or is he going to bowl it quite a long way outside leg? Some keepers like to stand here and logically you get a better view and it'd be easier to take the ball. If it's a left arm spinner that we've got down that end now, you can stay this side and then move to this side, almost reversing the offside and leg side for you if you wanted to. Um, but one of the most important things about stood up to the wicket is to stay down until the ball's pitched. So when the ball pitches, I would take my stance, providing I could see, take my stance here, put my fingers just on the, just behind the white line there, and I wouldn't move too much from that position okay, until the ball bounces. Let's have an example of that. We've got one of the Knotts Academy slow left armers here. So he's going to let go of the ball now, and it pitches yeah. now. There we go. Hopefully my hands will be on the, the line of the stump set. But oh, oh the, they were, Jack. Were they? You sure? But the important thing is to remember, if you come up too early, just hold it a second, if you come up too early, especially on a pitch like this here, where it's a little bit variable, you're going to come unstuck because, let's say the ball's in, in, in flight and you've not actually, it's not actually pitched yet and you're in this position here, where are you going to go, Mark? Are you going down or are you going up? You don't know. So what you've got to try and do is train yourself through practice, practice and practice and practice, staying down until the ball pitches and you go from there to the ball. From there to the ball. That's all you need to do. And again, is any of the work done up to the stumps driven by footwork? No, not, not for me particularly, that's, that's not for me. What's it driven by? It's I mean, driven by the mind. I mean, uh, technically, technically feet are going to come into it. It's like standing back. You need to use your feet as often as you can. It's no good being lazy and just die for everything. Vision is important. You must see the ball. As soon as you lose sight of the ball, especially leg side. Taking the ball leg side is a big problem for a lot of keepers. Um, and what I try and do, I don't think he's going to bowl it leg side. I'll take one more ball on the off stump if he bowls it. Yeah, there. See that mark? It's just that, that. And I never do that. I would Why? never do that in practice. Why? Because in the, in the heat of the battle, in the middle of a match, you're going to do that naturally and instinctively. If the guy goes down the pitch, you're going to know about it. So I try not to rush everything. So when I'm practicing... I'd like to see that again, actually. Let's have another... Can you bowl another one just outside of stump? Thank you. We're just talking purely practice now. There to there. Why do anything different? It's a simple movement from there to the ball. So all that stuff we're taught as a kid, get the gloves back to the stumps. I, think, I, think you're, I don't think you need to practice it, because I think in the heat of the battle, the adrenaline's pumping, you're going to do it anyway. So I, if, you, if you practice doing that, I think you end up rushing everything. Right, OK. Um, just a little bit on the leg side. And there doesn't seem to be any give. I mean, the ball comes to you and it just woof into the gloves here, and you make it look so incredibly easy. There's no... There are no sort of not too much movement. No, you keep yourself very you've still. To, you've got to keep the, the whole thing very, very simple. I'll let you try the glove on before we finish, Mark, and I'll show you why the reason I can do that. But just, just in terms of taking the ball leg side, if that ball is just there, you just pick that ball up. You just stand behind the batsman, just, Jeff. Just come and stand this, just a touch, just, yeah, yeah just so we can okay, see. Okay, what that I would ball. do is I would watch the ball pitch from this side, see the ball bounce from this side, and then go. A lot of keepers like to go early. I don't believe in that. For, for me personally, I like to stay this side. If Jeff can just come over this shoulder there, just go slightly... OK, Jeff, if I go early, where's the ball gone? The ball's disappeared. You don't know where the ball's going to pitch. Have you lost that ball, Jeff? 
okay? So if you go too early, the batsman obscures too much view down the pitch. So what I try and do is stay this side as long and as late as possible and then go quick and that's probably where your feet come in, Mark. Right, so is that movement driven by your feet? I mean, do you work on a very still head and level eyes? Yeah, I try to stay as level as I can, um, but I've got to see the ball pitch this side. That's the most important thing. If I don't see the ball pitch this side and I go too early, I lose it too early. If I watch the ball pitch on this side, I can see it come up, I know it's going to pass the batsman through there, and it's going to come out somewhere around the bat there, and I'll take the ball leg side. All right, you said uh, you might be able to show me something about your kit. Just, okay. um, Just put your hand in there. I mean, these wicket-keeping well, gloves are unbelievable. Okay, well, these are, are old. Uh, everything is loose and shambolic and tied together. Why aren't your gloves in better condition, Russell, my because, boy? Because they've got a great feel to them at the moment, and I catch a lot on feel. There's no... I personally don't like a lot of padding in my gloves. I like to feel the ball, even with the quick bowlers. Sometimes you, excuse me, sometimes you catch it and it hurts. But if you catch it properly and nicely and softly, then it doesn't hurt. So I, I go on feel. I like to feel the ball in my hands, especially when I'm stood up to the quick bowlers, um, where a lot of it is done on reaction and just, and just the ball hits you before you even know. So you need those soft, nice, soft gloves just to take the ball. Just one point, just yes. one very quick point. When you're stood up to the quicker bowlers, it's very difficult to stay down for that length of time as you would for the spinners, so you're allowed to come up a little bit early. Because you can't go there and there quick enough. So you just come up... So a medium pacer, you'd be up before fraction, the ball pitch Fraction, just, just a fraction. Just a fraction, right. because if you stay down too long, you won't do it. Now, we have to go. However, one of our girls here, look, has got something for you. Oh, no! This is, yes, this is uh, a birthday gift from N Power and from us. 40 years of age today, and one of the great wicket keepers that's ever played the game, Jack thank Russell. You very much. Thank, thank you very you much for joining us yeah. this lunchtime. Really, thanks, Mark. Many congratulations. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Riveting. Pleasure being with you. Isn't he? One of the greats, Jack Russell. Thanks, See you Mark. back here in a moment. M Power, cricket's biggest supporter. To sign up for text messages to keep you up to date with all the latest developments during England's matches this summer, please text CRICKET and send it to the number 83188 or click onto channel4.com slash cricket. Hello, stranger. Oh, my God. Could you pass off this man as your best friend? You should try. Uh, you want to drive? No, I don't want to well, drive. Well, don't tell me how to drive. Introducing to your friends and family. This is Daniel. My love is like a Spider-Man's web. I want to tie you up. Okay. What the hell are you doing with this line? My legs are aching. Baby. My legs are square. How would you handle it? My new best friend, tonight at 10 past 11 on 4. All sale prices are now VAT free in the MFI sale. And that's on top of up to 50% off. So, what are you waiting for? How much did you save again with this direct line car insurance? 20%. Ooh, it's quite a lot. Call Direct Line today and see how much you could save too. So you've got a bit more spare cash than you had before then? Loaded. We'll stop here and you can buy me lunch. Absolutely. Switch now and you could save yourself up to 20%. Well, look after the penny. Call now on 0845 246 9000. The new Argos catalogue is out now with fantastic offers. And when you buy this remote control car for $57.99, get a remote control plane free. Capital Gold Reggae Classics. 44 uplifting tracks from the masters of reggae. With Bob Marley. You can get it. You be 40. Desmond Decker, you can get it if you plus really Jimmy Cliff and Shaggy. Capital Gold Reggae Classics. Go, go on, go on. Out now. <laughs>